Hello everybody, Super Productions here, back with another LEGO The Hobbit review. Sorry for the shakiness, but today we have set number 79004, The Barrel Escape. 334 pieces, retails for $39.99, and it is one of the special, holid the special Hobbit trilogy preview sets. Ages 8 to 14. And so, there's your box. There is the back. Weapons, we'll go over all of that in the close up. Alright, so let's get to it. Hello, guys, and here is the close up of it. Let's get on with the minifigures. First, we have our favorite, basically, main character of the set, Bilbo Baggins, in all of his glory. You get two of Bilbo's stingers, and then you also get three of the rings so if you really want to get a lot of them basically any set that has the rings you always get three don't know why that's just how they do it and the ring just came off take this off if we can get a sword off there's his front printing and 360 of Bilbo back printing and he does have double headed scary face or like scared face. And next we will move on to Gloin the Dwarf. He comes with a double bladed axe and a single bladed axe and fantastic job on Gloin. I really do like the headpiece. Move him more over. And oops. Take that off. And I believe Gloin is the father of Gimli. So, Gimli's dad. There you go. Really nice front detail. And then, refocus that. Back detail. Extremely amazing. Lego did really, really nice with this set with all of the accessories and everything. There you have it Gloin the Dwarf. Next, since we're doing dwarfs, we'll have Oin, the dwarf. And he comes with his little, what would you call this, staff? Mace staff? Rod of destruction. And he does come with a gray cape. And in the Hobbit movie, yes, his hair does stick up in the back like that. Don't know why, just does. Take that off. His hair piece is rubber plastic so you can bend it which I think is really cool there you go with that face then we'll just turn him around it's mad face then lift up oops and there's his back printing I think Gloin would be in my top favorite dwarfs my first favorite dwarf is uh, Keeley I don't know what about him I just think he is the best. Oh, messed up his cape a little bit. Don't want to mess up his cape. Especially since gray is kind of... Well, I think I think this is the only one they've ever had, like, the smaller gray in. Which I think is pretty cool. If I can just... Oh, no, going back here. Or Oin. Alright, that is Oin the Dwarf, my second favorite. Next, we move on to the Mirkwood Guard, Mirkwood Elf Guard, and he has the light brown hair, the elven hair, and you can get him in the Mirkwood Guard poly bag, but it's kind of hard to find now, and like, at the store, well, my local Toys R Us doesn't have it, and it's Toys R Us exclusive, but I do love his torso, I would want to make an army of these guys if I could. And we'll move on to the back. Printing of him. And he comes with the white brown hair. And the spear. And that is the Mirkwood Elf Guard. Here's the Mirkwood Elf Chief. Uh, I really do like the new... They, see, they call these the Elven Swords, but I would think more they would be the Elven Spears. That's just what it looks like to me, personally. I would think this would be more of the spear, 
and you get three of them in this set. Then you get two of the gold keys. And just take all this stuff off so you can see his torso. He's got leg printing too. You can see that there's two little keys on him. Oops. And then the back of him, he has more of this like drunken face. Which makes kind of a lot of sense since there's nothing but like meat and alcohol all over here. And there you have it, the Merkwood Elf got or Chief. Let's get on to one of the cool little things that they made. The set has a lot of little tiny stuff. You got the little table, letter, goblet, you got really cool looking chairs. So like just have the guard or the chief just sit down, grab the goblet, drink from it, look at the letter, this is when he should be doing his job. Lots of nice little tiny features in this. There's one of them. Move that off to the side. Then you get the little, I don't know what you would call this, the ale. I think it would be called the ale. Little station for more drink. Just hold the goblet underneath, pull the faucet. You guys get the idea. Nice little tiny play things that they added to make the set look cool. And then the weapons rack, rotate it, put it in completely, or have it stretched out. And you get the new Elven Longbow. I, I really do like the Elven Longbow. They're so cool. And then you get two more of the Elven swords, spears, whatever you want to call them. Really, really nice. Alright, now move on to the main part of the set. All three of these are fully rotatable. If anything... I would seem it would be make more sense to have it like that, where it's like this. That's my personal opinion on this. But we'll move on to feature number one. Let's try and position this. Here we go. So, since this is called the Barrel Escape, what do you think that they would do rather than escape in the barrels? I know. Round breaking. Put them in there. I don't want to bend his cape. Put Bilbo in here. And the barrels do stay in place. But what you want to do. This little lever right here. And they'll come crashing out. Maybe it would. Probably in the movie, they would probably have lids on it. We'll get it at another angle here. Only, no, well, looks like Loin made it out. Sorry, Bilbo, you didn't make it. I know, tough luck. When you're going for another, other stuff to come. Next, you move on to the second part, which is just more bigger barrel of al, mead, alcohol, whatever you want to call it. Get another barrel down here, and you get more drinks up there like a wine cooler then you get to the main part of the set which I think is really cool you got these doors open they both open like so a little lever latch in there so we're just gonna put let's go and put Gloin in here just like that turn it around Move the camera. Oh, they're gonna escape, huh? Break down the door. Cause that's just how Gloin does what he's gotta do. Likes breaking, breaking the house. It's just a simple little cage. He just goes back into place. All right. I'm gonna go to the top here. Get stairs. Walkway all the way up to the top, and I'll move the camera, show you the top part. That's what the top of it looks like. Just a little station, lookout station. Really cool. Have Bilbo just chilling up there. Mirkwood elf guard running up the steps. 
Hoping not to fall. He fell! Oh no. This is by far a great set. You get some nice minifigures. You get Gloin, Oin, Bilbo, Mirkwood, Elf, Guard, and Chief. You get the brand new Elven swords. And I believe that if you would have pre-ordered Lego Lord of the Rings, you got the Elwood, the El, Elrond elf minifigure exclusive. That's the only way to get the elven sword, so this might be the only other way to get it. And then you get the spear, you get axes, battle axes, staff, golden keys, fingers, rings, chairs, tables, barrels, all sorts of fun little things to play with. Overall, I would get the set of Another 10 out of 10. Every Hobbit set has been amazing, in my opinion. It might, your opinion might be changing, but mine still has it. Whoa. Sorry, Gloin. I just shot across and knocked your block off. <clears throat> but the only one that I think would have, could have been a little better. Actually, this one might have. Could have been a little better. I would give this a 9 out of 10, not a 10 out of 10. Because the, the price per piece is kind of a lot. There's only 335 pieces, 334 to be technical, for $40. So you're averaging like 13 something cents per piece, which is kind of a lot. You want to stay around like 10 to 12. 12 at max, 10 is amazing. But overall, you do get a lot with this. You get three exclusive minifigures, which would be Oin, Gloin, and the Mirkwood Elf Chief. And then the only other way to get the Mirkwood Elf Guard is Polybag, but you don't get the, uh, you don't get Spears, you just get Quiver, the Olive Green Hood, and the Bow. But the Bow is awesome. I would love to have lots of these bows. <clears throat> but the Torso Piece is extremely nice on the Mirkwood Elf Guard. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more LEGO videos, and I am doing, I am going to be making a mock soon, so stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for my giveaway contest, I will have more information about that later on in the week, so have a good day, and enjoy your New Year's, goodbye!